welcome to Super Smash Brothers League, Season 4, Week 5. I'm Snuffy Sam, and I'm joined today by... Donut. Hello, everyone. Yeah, and we've got uh, a pretty interesting uh, stats spread this week. We've got uh, Beast Battalion and Villains at the top, undefeated at 4-0. Uh, Third Bill is right behind them at 3-1. And, and at the bottom, we've got uh, Retro and Pine Size at 0-4 with uh, Classic Mode Champions uh, right on the edge at 1-3. and three. But besides that, everyone is at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, with four of them being exactly tied with the KOs as well. So yeah. that's wild. Yeah. Uh, wow, Excalibur has a lot of KOs, actually. Yeah, they have a lot. Um, so that's that's beneficial for them going to later into the season. Mm -hmm. um, if they keep that up. Uh, I think they're literally perfect, uh, exclu excluding the losses. They've got... Yeah. Because that's uh, 10 KOs for their wins and uh, 4 KOs each for their losses. Yeah, so so winning or very close loss is pretty much mm -hmm. what you want, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that's, it's, it's good to have that uh, going into the late season. You don't want to be low on KOs, otherwise you're going to get eliminated with these close seasons. Yeah, yeah you gotta make up some, some ground that will help things go your way in other teams' matches, right? Which mm -hmm. you don't want to rely on other team matches. Yeah. But uh, let's just get into it, I suppose. Yeah. We have a spicy one to start. Yeah, for match one, we have Third Wheels versus Team Villain. Uh, yep. The third highest uh, member of the league versus the second highest, uh, well, tied for second highest, I guess. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Team Villain uh, with 4 and 0, 20 KOs. Uh, third Wheels with 3 and 1, 19 KOs. Third Wheels is the underdog here, but they can definitely take it. Mm hmm. And it seems like they could definitely with them going to the shack for this one twice now. Um, yeah, they, using they, a gold uh, Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, using gold Mario for twelve coins and a stage morph for seven coins. Turning so off stage spent. morph. Uh, yes. Uh, so yes. they have uh, that's all but six of their coins, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, means technically I think they could have used more to double bench Ryu. Instead, instead yeah. of bringing in their worst character, but uh, I guess maybe they thought the, they wanted to try the Golden Mario on him. Yeah, which is it's a fair build. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Team Villains, uh, they uh, they benched Mennonite this week, actually, who is their worst character, so... That makes a lot of sense, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, and um, it's, it's going to be an intense match. You ready to get into it? Yeah, this will be good. All right. Third Wheels versus Team Villain. <laughs> so we're starting off with uh, Banjo versus Mewtwo. Uh, what yes, are they running? Uh, Banjo is on Big B style in Gold Mario, with Mewtwo on Boulder in Gold Mario. Mm -hmm. So essentially the same build, uh, just who can do it better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll see a lot of similar builds between these two teams. Yeah, uh, looking at their stats, uh, Banjo and Kazooie are 193 average damage. Uh, Mewtwo is 156 average damage. So, so far, Banjo's been better. I don't think he's been in that many matches, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. Because he's usually been there closer. Um, yeah. Ooh, nice hit with the uh, grenade egg. Yeah. Uh, Mewtwo, I, I, uh, you know, they make oh. it back. This is one of the scariest uh, parts of this stage because yeah. there is a... You can fall in the middle, and there's walk-offs at the side, so nowhere is safe. Mm -hmm. Gotta be very mobile for this for this map, especially. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so far, they're pretty much neck and neck. Ooh, yeah. Banjo taking a wow. lot of damage from the ceiling. Uh, that is rough, Banjo. and he's not going to be able to make it back. Wow. That was a huge deficit for third wheels. Yes. Uh, hurt and by their own stage. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Um, Ryu coming in with... Demon Style and Gold Mario, another one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he fares better. Yeah, uh, I mean he can do some massive damage with that Demon Style. He just needs mm -hmm. to connect with you know some smash attacks. A hurricane like kick that. like that is good, but that you know just needs a strong kill one. move. Ooh, he's gonna oh, get taken yeah. out by that I think. Oh no, oh, no he get, he barely. recovers. Wow. Oh, but uh, there yeah. we go. Uh, up yeah, top sure you yeah. can. The demon helps a lot with the damage output, but he did so much. It kind of negates the Mario, right, over time. Mm -hmm. Up there he is. Right. Yeah, and uh, third wheels are a full character behind. 
Exactly. Um, Bowser comes in with Forgetful Style, Halberd, and Rock Mario, with Bayonetta on Forgetful Style, Halberd, and Majora's Mask. Hmm. Um, so yeah, pretty similar builds as well here. Uh, oh, I no, uh, Bowser is able to make that back. Yep. Uh, despite having a fairly poor recovery, he is able to make that back, and uh, Bayonetta is struggling to get the damage onto Bowser. She is taking, she's t gone up to uh, 69 now. Uh, yeah. I mean, granted, Bowser didn't start with a handicap, whereas Bayonetta did. So, in terms that of damage true. dealt, it's about the same, but. But still, that's not what you want. But you still hold character down. Yeah, that, that would have been a kill if there wasn't a wall there. <laughs> yeah. Ju just Bowser punching, and there he goes, takes out Bayonetta. Uh, third wheels yeah. are hugely behind, and I don't know if they're going to take this. I oh, mean, it doesn't appear so. Um, Jota with Boulder Cell and Ender Dragon could do some damage. Um, just rack up on, on Bowser for free. Mm -hmm. Try to early Ooh, KO. gets hit by the stage, gets hit by the stage yeah. again. That is uh, wow. some solid damage onto Bowser, but Joker needs to convert that into a KO to bring his mm -hmm. team back into the match. He's only at 13 damage. If you can just get a good smash attack. Yeah, this uh, is one good hit and that should kill. Yeah, Joker isn't a very powerful kill character, but this is 130 damage. Granted, Bowser yeah, is uh, pretty heavy, of course, but you know, I mm -hmm. should be able to take Bowser out relatively quickly. Ooh, he takes 40 oh, damage. That is not good. And Bowser does almost have his final smash up. Yeah, so that and, that, and that is not good. You don't, you do not want to get hit by that. It will kill yeah, pretty 80, early. Yeah, eighty percent, I believe, is the uh, the cutoff for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's got our oh. our send smash attack. There we go. Got Forward it. air takes okay. him out. And here comes Piranha Plant, who is the strongest member on Team Villain, I believe, the strongest in the league still. Yeah, three hundred eighty-two uh, yeah, average they, damage. Yeah, rocking strategist style and Sothis. So the Sothis to heal at the hundred percent, um, if uh -huh. if they make it to that point. Yeah, and, and Joker for sure wants to get rid of Piranha Plant before then doesn't fall with the stage. Thank goodness that they would have been very <laughs> no, unhappy if that happened. Yes, that would been a map change instant. <laughs> yeah, and um, right now, I mean, Sora's in the back with healing, so it's not impossible. Although Dark Samus also has healing. But yes. um, Joker, I think if they want to stay in this, Joker has to t get rid of Piranha Plant. He is their best character. Mm -hmm. uh, the best character in the league. Ooh, gets hit into the ceiling. You don't want that if you're third wheels. Definitely not. And like, he's doing a lot of damage right now to plant, but it has to kill before the 100 mark, right? Uh, yeah. So, so it's on a timer, essentially, which is not the best. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Ooh, thankfully uses that ceiling to tech the kill uh, yeah, from yeah, Piranha Plant. It. I think he's gonna, Piranha Plant's gonna get it. So this, ooh, maybe oh. not. Maybe not. If Joker connects with this final smash, I, ooh. Oh wow, my goodness, the up smash kills. Oh, wow, and and now we've got Dark Samus. Uh, Joker going to use the final smash to recover, maybe? No. Yeah, Dark Samus uh, the Meloetta, Zapfish, and um, Land Style. So Meloetta to heal Zapfish for that, that electric mm -hmm. move. Yep, but yeah. Ooh, and unfortunate. Joker really should have used the final smash uh, mm -hmm. to counter out Dark Samus there. Uh, mm -hmm. What would have at least gotten some damage on the board. And now we've got uh, healing versus healing. Yep, so with the Meloetta and Golden with Air Style for those um, aerial combat moves. So, uh, what have you been playing lately? A any games you've been playing? Donut? What? Sorry, sorry. Uh, have you been playing any games lately? Have I been playing any games? Uh, only Pokemon and League of Legends. That's all I've got. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, but, what are you doing with Pokemon? Are you doing uh, this Nuzlocke thing? Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be doing stuff with um, Toast and Etsmat and Destiny. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. so that'll be fun. Um, but I'm also just doing some like solo nuzz locking. So that's, that's good. Nice. Oh, let's do. Let's do. Any any new games you playing? Um, let me think. Uh, I, I mean, besides Multiversus, which I've been playing a bit of. Oh yeah, yeah. That's hot right now. Mhm. Mm uh, I I actually haven't played since the beta officially opened. Um, oh wow. I, I haven't seen. I haven't fought against any Lebans. Essentially. <laughs> One day. Yeah. Ooh, come. gets hit into the stage, oh. and Sora's gonna get oh. hit by that final smash. I oh. think that's death. What a nasty wow. combo. Yeah, that was a nasty way to go out. Unfortunate for them. How flashy, though. That's a that's the kill of the week so far. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah, and third um. goes lose to a pretty dominant win from uh, Team Villains. 
Yeah, very unfortunate that the um, the funky shot did not pay off this mm -hmm. week. Um, well, but on the plus side, you have Joker who did pretty well, so that's pretty nice, right? Um, and Ryu did get kill, so mm -hmm. that's something. Yep, uh, um, his, but kill, his uh, kill average is going up at least. Yeah, I'll take that. But this Bowser was way too much to to set up for the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. um, and I just kind of that's the wall you have to get past, right? Right. Is that um, Bowser plant boy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I guess on to the next match. So for match two, we have Classic Mode Champions versus Team Arsenal. Uh, Classic Mode Champions are at one and three. Team Arsenal is at two and two. Um, and Classic Mode Champions really wanted to get this win to stay out of the red zone. Yes, very important for them. And um, yeah, it looks like they have their uh, strongest lineup in. Who is their weakest? Is their weakest? Uh, oh, uh, actually, their weakest is Sheik, who they have in. Uh, they oh, actually okay. have their uh, strongest member benched this week, oh. that being Luigi. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, Team Arsenal has um, ha has uh, benched Rob, who is their third weakest member. They've brought in uh, Zero Suit Samus, who is their weakest. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder what the um the um the Luigi bench is for. Maybe a conflicting build. Well, or um, he hasn't been performing great for most of the season. It's just that last week he really popped off. So yeah. I don't know if they maybe they just don't trust him to do that again. Maybe. It's a love hate relationship. But uh, regardless, I guess you're ready to get into it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, Classic <laughs> Road Champions versus Team Arsenal. It's okay, they saw nothing. That's fine. <laughs> uh, be better to find it out there than here, where I'd have to <laughs> restart the game because it doesn't let you quit from this screen. Yeah. Um, so, starting off with Link versus K Roll. Yes, um, Link is on Halberd, Golden, and Strategist style, with K Roll on Forgetful, Meloetta, and Sedinja. So, very just standard builds for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, K Roll. Um, he is the second highest average damage on the team. He surprisingly hasn't been doing that well in the KO department. Only 0.8 KOs per match, which is, you know, yeah. it's like fine, but you, you, it's surprising not to see him getting an average of one KO a match. Yeah, it's just like he gets people high in percent, like relatively, just doesn't end up getting that final, that final blow. Yeah, um, like, I know he had a, had a stage jank, I think, once or twice. So um, that could no, be. I don't think so. I think he's just been taken out, mostly. Okay, I remember him having one stage check, but uh, that could have been on preseason too. Because so. remember, K. Rool has one of the best recoveries in the league. Yeah, he does. It's very good with the little helicopter you got going on. Yeah. Um, but so far, not doing well here. <laughs> yes. Uh, Link, I mean, Link on the uh, flip side, 166 average damage, 1.5 KOs per match. Yeah, so, so very about, solid. about the same in average damage, but really gets re really much better at getting those KOs than K. Rule is. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, K. Rule armored through the uh, bomb explosion. Uh, so yeah, that basically nice. uh, Link sacrificing himself to damage K. Rule, but it pretty much just hurt Link. Mm-hmm. And but uh, you'll take that first one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, that is the thing. Uh, K. Rool's got that belly armor. He does not take knockback easily. No, he does not. Uh, and K. Rool's almost at his final smash, actually, which Link does not yeah. want to get hit by. Yeah, and Link is at relatively high percent right now, so it could be problematic. Yeah, uh, ooh, K. Rool has the bomb. Throws it away. Yep. Oh, doesn't need it. Get it, Chad. Oh, uh, up smash doesn't kill K. Rool, and I think K. Rool's gonna use the final smash. And unless Link gets into a really like good spot on the stage with a lot of like basically right inside the tent where he can tech, yeah, uh, it, I think it's gonna kill him. Yeah, if the final smash lands, if he uses it at all, Ooh, there it is. There and it is. here we are We're in the stage morph. I think the blast zones are gonna be slightly too close, and that's gonna kill Link. Yep. But, oh, you know, okay. I was about to... <laughs> yeah, decent damage onto K. Rool. In comes Yoshi, who is the strongest member of Classic Mode Champions. Wow. With, That's um, a statement. 
Uh, that oh wait, no, 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 he isn't. No, he isn't. He he is the third strongest. Uh, Luigi's okay. the strongest. Yeah. I got my green guys uh, mixed up. <laughs> it's all fun. Um, he has Bigby style, Twintel, Black Mario, and Majora's Mask. So. Yeah, uh, so far just taking 30 damage uh, from K. Rule. Uh, hasn't really uh, answered with much. He needs to get this kill soon if he wants okay. to keep his team in this. Because uh, you do not. It, it is hard to make a comeback against Team Arsenal. Let's okay, just say really that. <laughs> Uh, if, oh, if you have a stock deficit, like you can deal as much damage to them as you want, but if you have a stock deficit against them, it is, it is yeah. hard to manage. Yeah, and you, you'll see why if we get to that moment. Um, now we have Wolfen um, coming in with Demon Style, Majora's Mask, and Ashley. Yeah, I believe uh, same build he had last week. I don't know if he connected with his final smash last week, but he did pretty well uh, overall, mm -hmm. so might as well keep it just in case. Yeah, as long you no know, damage is damage, right? So mm -hmm. just take it. And, um, yeah, good, good block from Yoshi. Uh, is, is actually keeping up with Wolf pretty well. Manages to get yeah. Wolf up to 70%, but Wolf with a couple uh, of smash attacks brings uh, Yoshi up over 100. Definitely not what you want if you're a Tasma champion. Um, Ooh, charge that too uh, long, Yoshi. Charge it too long. Yeah. I feel like the AI always charges it too long. Uh, it really does. Yeah. An opponent. yeah, they hold it so long, which... If it hits, it hits, right? But mm -hmm. most of them just misses, so... Yeah, that, that's a problem that Inkling has a lot mm -hmm. uh, with her roller. Um, and now they're both over 100. Uh, either of them could get a good smash attack and kill here. Uh, yeah, look at Yoshi champions back, right? would very much like this kill. They are now is. back in the stock lead. And wow, Inkling's that is um, That kind of strategy style, Halberd and Victini. Um, very solid build for, for him. Yeah, uh, Duck Hunt is uh, 183 average damage, 1.5 KOs, yeah, uh, so. currently 7th in the league overall. Wow, very good captain. Yeah, so, um, yeah, y you gotta be careful with Duck Hunt. Yoshi has his final smash on Duck, this won't kill if he hits with it, but it will do decent damage, so he's gonna yeah. want to get... Oh, he's right at the ledge, though. I don't yeah. think this will kill. Duck Hunt's recovery is too good, but yeah. If it does, I'll be very surprised. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, but, um, you know, decent damage onto Duck Hunt, getting him over 20 damage. Uh, that's mm -hmm. what you want to see if you're classing him on champions. You want to be able to uh, get as much damage on the board against Duck Hunt as possible so that Captain Falcon can uh, finish the job if Yoshi doesn't. Ooh, yeah, kind of there's an up smash, takes out yeah. Yoshi. Hey, right. let's see. Now I have, who's coming in? Falcon. Yes, Falcon with Forgetful Style and Sothis. So, just want to live long for that final smash, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I, I mean, not necessarily the final smash, but just getting that full heal. Uh, yeah. So that, uh, which effectively gives you a final smash if you get it. Yeah, that's the, the theory, unless Dark Knight wants to have an earlier kill. Mm -hmm. Which is possible, we've seen it happen many times. Yep. That's Ooh, the bomb wow, that was a lot that's of damage. Oh, was nice and 23, 24 damage. Yeah, just yeah, it, it, okay. those cans are each doing like 20 damage. That's what happens when you have strategist style. Yep. And against a, um, no, that was just for different styles. I mean, demon style. Yeah, it's not, it's not even demon style. He has neutral defense. And That's there goes the Sothis. Uh, I mean, Duck Hunt's over 80, so, you know, Captain nope. Falcon could nope. uh, finish this. But his final smash didn't charge enough. He didn't spend much time. Oh. Now he needs to stall a little bit longer. Just didn't get the opportunity. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, that, okay. that uh, uh, smash attack isn't as long range as Duck Hunt's attacks, funny enough. Yeah, you didn't just outrange and kite it back. Ooh, nice uh, oh, and uh, Captain Falcon traps Duck Hunt uh, in the jab combo, it. stopping him from recovering as the stage morph happens. Very smart right. from Captain Falcon. Yeah, Diddy comes in now. He's rocking with the Boulder Style and Beast Howard. So if it hits 80%, Watch out, you are going Ooh, to Ooh, misses the final smash. That would have been good damage for Falcon. Definitely. And yeah, unfortunately, I think that's basically means it's death for Falcon. Uh, the fact yeah. that he wasn't able to uh, connect with that on Diddy Kong. Because Diddy Kong... Uh... Oh, Ooh, unless... never mind! Wow! Wow, Falcon's good spike. Low. It's basically at the last second he could have because he was about to hit 80%. Yeah, I that. 78%. Now Zero Suit comes in. 
with Bigby and Gold Mario, which is a solid build. Also has a really good Final Smash if she gets to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe, like, basically they benched Rob and gave uh, her his build to Zero Suit Samus, which mm -hmm. is uh, an interesting strategy. I think they did that last week with Wolf when they benched Zero Suit Samus. So mm -hmm. just sort of, you know, if a character's not performing the way you want to, why not, I guess. But, ooh, I think it's... that kills Falcon. Yeah, oh. this might be in the wrong direction. Must have been a misinput from the AI. <laughs> yes. Maya comes in with Gravity, Meloetta, um, and Stedinja. Yeah, and I mean, so far, Zero Suit Samus doesn't have much damage on the board. Um, no. I would say Classical Champions has a pretty strong advantage at this point, but especially yeah. given how weak Zero Suit Samus is. But you know, I think her average has gone up, and she's not taking too much damage from Mario. Yeah, I think. Problem is that the healing is just going to offset all the damage she's doing, mm -hmm. which is very unfortunate. But yeah, Zero Suit Samus just isn't a very combo-heavy character. Mm -hmm. Just maybe it's more of a bursty character, right, with her final smashes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, her final smash is basically her uh, best the move. Uh, obviously, with pro players, she's combo-heavy, but the AI doesn't know how to use yeah. any of her combos, so uh, she just sort of flips around and throws out straight <laughs> hitboxes. <laughs> yeah, I just hope for the best. Like, oh, maybe it'll hit, maybe it won't. It's all yeah. good. Maybe she can find a stage shot. That'd be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, but notably, Mario came in with 30 damage, and he's still at 30 damage. He's below 30 he's damage, 29. in fact. Oh my. This is not good. Yeah, and um... Oh, what? <laughs> That's what Gravity Mario. Style does. <laughs> Man, I was just gonna say, I need my people and just left. <laughs> Imagine if that could kill you. <laughs> that would be that was so unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but, um... Oh, no. Okay, uh, Zero Suit Samus does oh. recover. Yes. Uh, for fortunately, her uppy is good enough to recover from there. Uh, she's at 91 damage. I mean, she's gonna get her final smash soon. Yeah. Uh, that'll and do some damage to Mario. I don't think it will kill unless she manages to yeah. trap him somewhere. Yeah, if, if she stays on his side and keeps on the right of him, maybe you can find an angle like if that, if that, he's yeah. up, if he's below the ledge like if he's trying to recover and she manages to shoot the final smash like basically yeah. at the ledge preventing him from reaching it then mm -hmm. she could uh, kill him at 30. well sounds like a simple plan mm -hmm. just do that right oh yeah but why would he jump off the stage i, I you know what optimism is always good uh, yeah i mean she takes him up to 54 that's not that helpful. yes but she's at 112 so mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's not the sort of character who could get a kill at 55 without an extra final smash. I mean, the good the good news is that her average is going up. Mm -hmm. uh, she is not yes, going to be. Yes, and that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I think oh. that takes out to your Samus. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Nicely done by by Mario and the squad. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Zero Suit Samus, probably not statistically the worst character in the league anymore. That is, that is a plus side, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Yoshi just really held it down for so long, brought it back. And mm -hmm. just from that point on, was able to... Someone just coast through a Falcon. And that was all she wrote. Yeah, um, I mean, that is very good for Classic Mode Champions. Getting that second win on the board yep. is all is nice to see for them. Arsenal... Yeah. I mean, it's a very strong lineup. It's just, uh, honestly, if it wasn't for the uh, spike on Diddy Kong, I think yeah. they would have gotten through Falcon uh, much easier, and Diddy Kong would have uh, been able to do a lot more to Mario. Definitely. Yeah, the big problem for um, Arsenal right now is that they're part of that 2-2 two and, two and tied with KOs, and they have three KOs here. So mm -hmm. that that is putting them behind the eight ball, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, but um, on to the next match. Yep. Oh, lordy. It's mine. <clears throat> so for match three we have team retro versus beast battalion uh retro Ooh. is completely winless at 0 and 4 uh beast battalion is undefeated at 4 and 0 yep uh so I, this is uh obviously in terms of the statistics this is the biggest disparity uh, of any match we have this week and hopefully we'll have this season <laughs> Uh, I, yeah. I would be uh, pretty upset if I was uh, if I was one of these uh, winless teams. Then I had to go in and up against an undefeated team later in the season. 
Yes, that'd be unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but um, I mean, Team Retro can definitely take it. We've seen what the Doctor oh. can do. Uh, yeah, we've seen I, what Samus can do. We've seen what Simon can do, and uh, Pit is no slouch yeah. either. Yeah, I am definitely not breathing easy right now, so mm -hmm. I am very nervous for this match. Yeah, but um, I guess uh, let me let me see the benches. The benches. Um, Team Retro has benched uh, Pac-Man, who is uh, eh, their third lowest damage, but Pit has higher KOs, so fair enough. Um, <laughs> And Beast Battalion has benched. Um, is that Lucario? Lucario. Benched Lucario. Yep. Yeah, who Lucario. is uh, your second best? Yes. In terms of damage, that's and your best in terms of chaos. Yeah, that's because of last week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you know, uh, there you go. Uh, let's just get into it, I guess. Team Retro versus Beast Battalion. Yeah. Very interesting stat here is that Beast Battalion, the lowest character is is Pokemon Trainer, who does start today, with 122 damage. Yeah, 122 damage. Uh, what's Retro's highest character? Uh, um, Retro's highest... highest character is Doctor Mario with 167 damage, wow. and their second highest is um, Samus with with 125. So, their second highest is the same as Beast Battalion's worst, which is. Kind of a monster up view if you're Retro, but we'll see what they can do. Um, yeah. Ooh, Pit taking a lot of damage really quickly. Pit yeah. wants to rack up damage uh, uh, so that he can get his KO with his final smashes. That doesn't yep. look like that's happening. No, uh, does it not. doesn't look um, like he's gonna... I don't think he's gonna get the KO. I mean, he's gonna use his first final smash and hit with it, sure. Um, sure. Oh. Uh, unless Ivysaur goes way to the top of the screen. No, uh, but you know, it takes enough damage where he decides to switch to Charizard, because that's what the yep. AI decides, I guess. Yep, so let me um, read off these builds real quick. Forgetful Style and Deez Howard for Pit, which is why you see his final smashes racking up so quickly Ooh. for him. Okay, 50 this damage, this is something. I mean, Charizard's heavier, but he's also a bigger target, so maybe... Oh, he's right at the top of the screen, that kills! Wow, and Retro kill. takes an early lead with Pit, yes. despite uh, taking a massive damage deficit, he did his job. Yep. Um, Pokemon Trainer did have King uh, Style and Gold Mario, and Sunua up here with his usual build of Forgetful Style, Halbert, and Reaper, and Reap Pets. So nothing has changed for him. Ooh, that's he gonna should... kill. Oh, wow, yeah. he missed it! He missed the timing. Wow, wow. but there we go, the up air takes yeah. him out. <laughs> yeah, that just basically evens up the match. And in comes, what is this? Samus. Hmm. Samus with Strategist Style, and Halbert, and Silver the Hedgehog. So very standard build for, for Samus. Yeah, um, oh, you know, I water. mean, she's, she's a good character for them. Uh, she doesn't perform well against uh, healers, as we've seen in uh, two weeks right now, where she just did nothing to uh, healers, but uh, Incineroar's not a healer. Uh, in fact, there are no healers on, uh, well, except Rayleigh Healers, so this, but there are no Meloetta characters on Beast Battalion, somehow. That is true. We, yeah, we just don't use Meloetta. Ooh, that, yeah, shouldn't have stood there, <laughs> Samus. Shouldn't have stood That's there. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, right now, uh, keep, yeah, keeping yeah. her distance with uh, the uh, the Zare. The Zare is uh, boosted by her Silver the Hedgehog. And That's now fun. we are going to Tortimer Island. Uh, both these teams using water maps, funny enough. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm channeling my inner androids over here. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly. Ooh. That's some good damage. Decent damage. I'll take it. Yeah, uh, th this map, Tortimer Island, is such a strong map for Incineroar. Uh, just mm -hmm. because of how well he can use the uh, uh, very wide terrain for his side B. And, ooh, <laughs> misses with that up B. But also just because of how uh, easy it is for him to recover, of course. Ooh, misses that! That would have been so huge for Retro. They needed that to hit. Um, Samus getting another throw off, taking Incineroar up to 115. She just needs to yes. connect with a wow. uh, smash attack uh, or a ball. And or a charge one, shot. Kill. Um, Incineroar is getting really close to that final smash, which would potentially kill from this range. Ah, uh, yeah, it would definitely kill from this range. Ooh, connects with the uh. Oh, but they were center stage, and Tortimer Island is so huge. It uh, is. That's Samus really needs to be vertical right now. She needs to be up on that tree. She needs to be jumping. Oh, she gets hit by the final smash. Yeah. And that should do it for him. 
Yeah, she's getting taken out, but Incineroar at 148, not bad from Samus. Yep. Oh, she is still alive! Wow, what am I, Island coming in? Watch. And there we what? go, the back air takes out Incineroar. Uh, wow, Retro has good. the, uh, pers has the stock lead. Uh, Samus is at 100. Fox could kill with a smash attack or a back air here. Uh, Samus Definitely. needs to keep her distance, but also, uh, waste his time. Waste the time of his Ender Dragons so that the next member in their lineup doesn't have to deal with it. Yeah, and Fox Samus has her final smash. If she uses this, it will waste, uh, it will waste Fox. Oh, no, nope, there it goes. There it is. There it is. Ah, uh, so yeah, she just has to use her final smash. It'll do decent damage. I believe Fox has lower defense from Runner Style, I think. I think most I of them have lower defense. Anyway. Oh, but JK, doesn't matter. Yeah, and she now will. it is an even match except for Fox's build list. Yes, um, Peach has Taint Style, Mill Tank, and Reaper and Reap mm -hmm. But this is the pinnacle of Smash Lead, everyone. Fox and Peach. We love to see it. Yeah, uh, Fox, 164 average damage. Uh, one of the higher characters in the league, actually, uh, is top 15. Uh, Peach, not doing so hot. Uh, 35 average damage. I believe she is the uh, she is the uh, fourth worst character in the league, but Zero Suit Samus' average already went up, so uh, she's yeah, so. practically the third worst right now. Uh, this pretty right even now, right pretty now. even damage. Yeah, almost exactly even. Mm -hmm. Which is okay if you're both teams. I mean, both teams are feeling comfortable with that. Yeah, I, I think uh, Retro would like to have a bit of a lead from Peach uh, so that they don't have to uh, uh, deal with Ridley Sothis as much. Yep. Uh, but otherwise, you know, ha having that... Uh, uh, just keeping it even against Fox, I'm sure they'd be happy with. Uh, even if yes. Peach dies here. Oh! oh and, and, okay, okay, they both oh make my. it back. <laughs> what a weird... Ooh, weird and the attack. counter takes out Fox! Of wow. course, the charge-up animation for that Firefox is pretty long, so Peach was able to counter it and gets taken out instantly by Ridley. This is an yep. even match. In comes Dr. Yeah. Mario. Dr. Mario on Demon Style, Meloetta, and Sedinja with Ridley on Demon Style. And no! And that is it for Retro, I think. That uh, is the curse of pirate ship. Yeah, she giveth and she taketh away. Um, yeah. I think if Simon beats Ridley before we get uh, to Tortimer Island, which is his easily his best stage in the league, yep. uh, I think maybe they have a chance, but boy, that is rough for them. That is insanely, insanely um, hard for them to, to overcome right now. But they can do it. Simon is on Bid Bear, uh, Bidby, Polar Bear, and Bulldog. So his standard build that we always see him on, uh, mm -hmm. he's taking, going for a swim, you know, I respect it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm um, trying trying to get Ridley in the water, baiting him in, uh, to hit him with that axe, which is exactly what he wanted to do. Um, the, no, doesn't hit him with either the whip or the cross. No. Um, and we are going to Tortimer Island, this is going to be yes. rough for Simon, the space pirate rush yep. is going to be do so much more damage here. It's two percent. Just and there it is. Ah, there is it activated. is. So this is activated. I mean, Simon isn't doing bad so far, but yeah. Ridley hasn't. Uh, you ooh, there goes the space oh. rush. Look at that. He's up to seventy-eight percent. He's a little hopping in water. That's funny. Um, yeah. Uh, doesn't quite realize he can uh, up be back to stage. I think. Uh, yeah. So he's just trying to chill here and kind of waste out the time, but he's also trying to get hit for free. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, but the space pirate oh. rush doesn't work in the water. <laughs> yeah, which and Ridley is has his funny. final smash on deck. Simon gets out of the water probably because he does not want to get hit by that. But I don't know if he can uh, stop Ridley. Now, fortunately, Ridley's final smash doesn't kill unless it hits a hundred, uh, or if it's like a really small stage, I think, because uh, Ridley's final smash takes you to center stage and spikes you straight down. And he's uh, at ninety-nine, so it yeah. would have killed. Uh, it, it, it probably would have killed, yeah. Um, but um. Yeah, I mean, he is having trouble. He needs to get rid of uh, Ridley quickly so that he can handle uh, Jigglypuff, who is on a similar build to him. So Yeah, and the armor is going to be a problem at, so he can just jump right through that. Mm -hmm. uh, if he gets but... a few more damage onto Ridley, his final smash should be able to do it. Yeah, you'd imagine from, from 65, yeah. Ooh, that is oh rough! My God. Full that stage a... space pirate rush, 27 oh, that's damage, nasty. I think, taking him out. Yeah. That's that's on par with um, what is it? Dutch Samus's from earlier than with villains. That mm -hmm. kind of kill, nasty. 
Yeah, and uh, wow, Ridley, I mean, it was the unfortunate KO, ship KO from Dr. Mario. Yeah. That was the big swing, that was the, the biggest swing you can think of. Uh, you know, um, I feel like they've gotten, like, uh, like it's it's week five already, and I feel like they've gotten yeah. three ship KOs on their own characters, something yeah. like that. They've definitely gotten at least two. Maybe they looked into Tournament Island. No, they um, they seem to do fine on it when they yeah, were on it. Yeah, they they seem to do fine on it. I mean, so long as they're not facing Ridley. But um, yes, but this is the only time they face them this season, unless playoffs. Yeah, and it, no one else has a special move like Ridley that uh, gets stronger the bigger the stage is. So I don't yeah. think they have to worry about that until playoffs. But um, yes. I, I mean, the question is Pit. Uh, Pit, I think, yeah. does really well on. Uh, on pirate ship because people go to the top of the ship and then they're easy picking for pickings for his final smash. Exactly. I think yep. that's the one thing they have to think about because his final smash will not kill on Tortimer Island like that. Yeah, so you have to find a new style for him, if you will, mm -hmm. of play, um, which yeah. is possible. It's definitely doable. There, um, there are other possible. water maps as well. Um, I think that they used to use uh, Great Bay. It was too small for them. I think oh, each was killed really quickly. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, like late characters, like Peach were killed too early. Um, what what else? Uh, there's uh, Delfino is a water map, I believe, uh, for for yep. some parts of it. It's yep. also a transforming map. Uh, but you know, uh, sometimes when you have a transforming map, you just get lucky, and all the transformations just happen to benefit your characters more than uh, the opponents. True. Yeah. So, you know, they can look into a different map, or maybe not a water map, even. Yeah, just, just a standard, you know, full land map. I think, I think they've uh, done well on uh, Minecraft World, I think they've done well on King of Fighters Stadium. Okay. Yeah, but, um, yeah, and uh, Beast Battalion keeping their uh, record 5-0. and That we continue the streak of having a cat to do three KOs. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, on to the next match. Let's do it. Now for match four, we have the Beefcakes versus Super Bash Sisters. Uh, these two teams are almost exactly tied. Uh, Beefcakes yes. are two and two with 16 KOs. Super Bash Sisters are two and two with 15 KOs. Uh, Bash Sisters technically have the uh, underdog status here, but only by one KO. Yes. Uh, so. so, at the very least, Bash Sisters want to ensure they get uh, four KOs this match. Mm -hmm. At the very least, you need. Get to the foul member. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looking at their benches, uh, Beefcakes have benched uh, Richter Belmont, who I believe is their wow. worst. Okay. Um, no, he is actually their oh. their third best. Wow. Uh, in terms of in terms of damage, at least. Um, and Super Bash Sisters have benched. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, Byleth? What? Why would you do that? Byleth bench. Uh, guys. Whoa. You know, you know there's no, you know there's no rule that you have to bench every character, right? You can you can keep your best characters in. <laughs> yeah. Like I I know we talk. It's like oh so and so they benched their best character this week. It's usually because they popped off one specific week that they're suddenly their best character and they're not ac actually reliable. Or they're doing yeah. high damage because of healers, and they're not actually getting KOs. Violet mm -hmm. is like definitively like in your top two. <laughs> we, yeah, you definitely. know, you know this. It's Isabel and Violet. I am not sure what the play is here. Maybe they know something we don't. So mm -hmm. let's see what they can do. Yeah, I mean, may, maybe something with Beefcake's map, perhaps. Yeah, maybe just the uh, the um, the matchup. This isn't. But yeah, let's get into it, I guess. Uh, Beefcakes versus Super Bash Sisters. Alright, and we are off. starting off with Little Mac versus Wendy O. Koopa. Alright, Little Mac here with Bigby style, Mithra and Might with Bowser Jr. or Wendy. Um, going with Demon style, Halberd and Weezing. Mm -hmm. so, typical builds from what I remember. Um, doesn't seem like they're shaking anything up too much, yeah? Um, yeah. I, I mean, uh, it's surprising that they haven't tried uh, different stuff with Little Mac. 
Uh, yeah. Because Little Mac That's is uh, currently their worst performing member, lowest uh, in damage and lowest in KOs. And yeah. he was performing pretty well in preseason on Gold Mario, which is a spirit they aren't using at all. So yeah, I don't know yeah, what the play is there. Yeah, it's kind of ironic right now that um, a character with a KO punch in his you know, moveset does mm -hmm. not have the most KOs. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but, um, oh, nice hit from the oh. cannonball. Yep, and nice combo with that. Uh, I just... think that's. No, no. His uh, might uh, gets him back to stage. Ooh, yep. the abandoned ship does not hit Little Mac, and he's almost at his KO punch. Wow, yep. and that his KO punch isn't gonna kill if he hits with it. No, just twenty one percent, not anything really. Yeah, ooh, the abandoned oh, ship wow. hits, and that does a lot of damage. Puts him into a tumble, uh, which of course makes him lose his uh, KO punch. Oh my ooh. goodness, the combo! Oh, uh, oh, it's nasty. Yeah, that's that's the thing. After you use the abandoned ship, you get access to a new set of aerials, these hammers, uh, that will. Uh, that could do really strong damage if you can hit someone into it. Uh, so let's see what Donkey Kong has. Donkey Kong has Boulder Style Beat, Rock Mario, and Piston Hondo. So a lot Ooh, of just punching. Nice use of the up uh, But yeah, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, sort of an all-rounder character. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty defensive with the Boulder Style, but he's got uh, damage boosts with all his other uh, spirits. Yep, which does play into his fighting style. Uh, so. Meanwhile, uh, he's at 98%. Hasn't done much, uh, Trendy. Yeah. No, only done a very small amount of percent in comparison. Mm -hmm. There you go, kind wow. of. But almost all smash time for Wendy, which could be. Uh, uh, which I think will kill uh, if she gets it. Uh, this is a pretty small stage. There's not really yeah. many places for Donkey Kong to run. Obviously, it's kind of an awkward final smash, but yeah, the final hit does hit. His Legend Build's invincibility just wears out. Mm -hmm. Now we have Chrome here. What is Chrome rocking? Stratostyle, Halberd, and Golden. Yeah, I believe he's the best on Beefcakes right now. Yeah, 167 average damage, 1.8 KOs. Uh, I believe he is... Uh, he is 11th in the league right now. thought he was top 10. But, uh, meanwhile, Wendy really going off this week. Uh, she's actually struggled for KOs in previous weeks, but now she's already got two. Yeah, very nice for her stats. Um, obviously, Subastus is hoping for one more, just to, you know, icing on cake here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, ooh, oh, very strong almost. hit on Wendy. Doesn't hit him, doesn't manage yeah. to follow up on it, but... Ooh, uh, and a, and a oh. weak up down smash hit. Oh my goodness, oh. I think that kills. Oh, Good. now he's able oh. to recover. He has, I think, like, Good. slight yeah. armor maybe on his uppy. Maybe. Oh, but he can't make nah. it back. Hit too far off stage. And wow, oh. Wendy is just dismantling the beefcakes. Are we going to do it for a sweep here? Is that, what, is that the play? What's going on? Alright, Snake. Mel let us um, with Shedinja and then Gravity. Ooh, stuff. Wendy taken out. Yeah, uh, didn't get the sweep. I think, has every 5 KO performance been from Super Bash Sisters? Um, uh, Peach no. Peach in okay. Season 1, Isabel in Season 2 or 3. Bowser did one to be um, to put one masters. At the oh, time. Bowser! Bowser got five KOs once. Yeah, it was sad. Yeah. Oh, and I think <laughs> Sonic might have once. Yeah, because sure. he had the Celebi, right? Yeah, what back on uh, Celebi. Um, yeah. <laughs> Min Min, what is she rocking? Um, Boulder style, Piston Hondo, Mimikyuri, and Silver the Hedgehog. Yeah. So just sort of general. Uh, yeah. Gen general stat boosts to all her stuff, um, and she's got to contend with some healing. Uh, walk straight into that mine. Does the AI not know where? Remember where it is? I, I guess it just doesn't. I had to play something down just forget about it. Mm -hmm. Which does give a optimizer strategy, but you you pop off, you know, do your thing. Yeah, and um, you can see it in the stage morph as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's much uh, clearer on this stage. I don't know if the AI like does the AI just not look, look think to look at the uh, C4 on the ground. Maybe. Maybe they think it's like in the grass type of thing in the background. Yeah, maybe. Uh, because he's gonna use it again right there. Yeah. Right. He's gonna use it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He waited. He was a very nice gentleman. Waited for her to get out of the range before he used it. How nice of him. That's that's very gentlemanly. Yeah. Almost and, has uh, Palace which would kill. Which would kill. Yes. But. Yeah. There's uh, no doubt. I mean, ooh, that. if she had hit with that uh, yeah. uh Megawatt, it would have uh, killed. But. 
Mine is down. Oh, or that up smash would have killed. But you know. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, oh, there oh. we go. And that is the death of Min Min. Uh, right there. Uh, she's fairly album. heavy, but she cannot survive that. And now, now we've got a Izahel. And I Demon don't know if Snake is going to do much against Izahel. <laughs> Um, Strategistyle, Meloetta, and Reaper Repet. Basically, a Radiant Smash form. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Like... It, it's not even the healing. It's, it's like just... her Fishing Rod is such a scary move. Mm -hmm. it, like, it, it might... Like, I think situationally... Like, on, on the right stage, uh, Ridley's what? side B is probably scarier, but... Oh, uh, wow, he uh, loves that. On the whole, stage independent, uh, uh, Isabelle's side B is probably the uh, strongest command grab in the game. Yep. Easily top five. Yeah. Well, there's not that many command grabs, so. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, and uh, Snake, uh, doing a decent oh. job staying in there hasn't really dealt much damage to Isabelle, unfortunately. Ooh, wow! Oh, Takes her up to 51 it. pretty quickly with an aerial, uh, and... combo. Okay, I see you, Snake. Pop off. Yeah, wow. and she is having trouble hitting with the fishing rod because of all his, uh, C4 and stuff, but she placed her own C4. <laughs> uh, she just needs Snake to walk into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he managed oh, to dodge I, right out of it. Yeah. I thought he'd just land on top of it. He's... Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's what he was looking for, but uh, he yeah. he dodged as soon as that. Uh... Oh, is Molly coming back? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, she's dead. All right, Ganon Dwarf coming in as the closer here. But it first out and Sothis. Sothis, mm -hmm. obviously we've seen multiple times this week already. Um, yeah, so it's such, it's a, such a strong spirit. I think it's one of the best spirits in the league right now. Arguably, definitely arguably. Um, at least oh, in, ter in terms of performance, because I feel like a lot of Sothis characters have uh, really popped off. Um, Ganondorf yeah. is the uh, second highest member of uh, Beefcakes in terms of damage output. Yeah, right now, Ganon just wants to do what Ridley did. Three KOs. That's mm -hmm. all I do. Yeah, but oh, misses with the final oh, smash. Oh, tragic. Tragic for that. And she just kind of stands as like, yeah, I messed up. My yeah. bad. Super Mash Sisters have an opportunity here to get a KO lead in in this uh, sort of middle part of the uh, middle part of the standings. Uh, yeah, and you gonna keep them down to two KOs would be really nice for them too. Mm -hmm. In the um, other side of things. Yeah, uh, uh, and of course, uh, Beefcakes definitely want to uh, get the KO yeah. on uh, on Isabel at the very least, mm -hmm. uh, so that they're not so behind in KOs. Because definitely. Honestly, it's kind of like Mario Kart, where, like, if, if you're in first place, you can kind of uh, coast easy, except for the blue shells. Uh, yep. If you're in last place, there's not really much going on. But if you're in the middle, all of these items, it's total chaos. Yes. Everyone's hitting you with everything at once. And Gandalf okay. gets the sow this off. He's almost at his final smash, which will kill Isabel with he, if he hits with it. But he wants to... Uh, yeah, this he is wants smash to get out Isabel oh, soon. Wow, he's already at 60. And just use the final smash. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, okay, Gantel wow. takes out Isabel. In comes Inkling. Uh, like 30 good. damage. Uh, gonna use your final smash, man? Uh, maybe, maybe. Alright, uh, well, Inkling coming in here with the Renner style, Majora's Mask, um, Roll Cast, and Nico Fire. And Gandalf wastes the final smash. That would have been really nice for Beefcakes. Mm -hmm. He has a little pain on him. Feels bad about that. It's a rough day for him. <laughs> yeah, and I think Isabel. I, I think uh, Inkling should be able to take out Ganondorf here. Isabel mm -hmm. should also be able to take out Ganondorf here. Really, she she can she can do it beyond the grave. Her. I believe in her. Oh yeah, just comes back, comes back like Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, up smash does not get the kill. Uh, and the down air also doesn't really do anything. Just needs yeah, a strong like smash attack. Uh, Gan's just trying to do these bit smashes off, but he's just too slow on the, on the moves. Mm -hmm. Inkling, one of the most mobile characters in the league, especially on runner style with an eco fire. Yep. Oh? He's trying to get an edge right there, but... Yeah, but just, Inkling's recovery uh, is also really good. Yeah. I saw what he was going for. Just trying to do a bit spike, maybe. Mm -hmm. But... 
Yeah, I mean, he has, he has spike moves. He has his down air. Yeah. Uh, yep. He just wasn't using it. <laughs> um, okay. I forgot it stuff, too. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the, the no. stage was pressure. <laughs> Uh, no, th th thankfully, uh, thankfully this isn't the ship. Well, it is a ship, but it, it doesn't just, uh, kill you instantly. Ooh. Nice, okay. Good damage, good damage. Mm -hmm. He's almost back to his final smash, if we can stay alive and Ooh, use it. Ooh, wow! Oh, wow! Takes out okay. Isabel, and now it's all up to Palutena with a forward tilt taking out Ganondorf. But, okay. man, that was pretty good for Beefcakes, taking it to the last member. Yeah, yep, that is huge for the KO counts. Now, wow, Wendy just went off. Yeah, Wendy is popping off, getting a solid lead, and brought it back at the end, but mm -hmm. was not enough. Yeah, not not quite enough. Uh, but um, now congrats to uh, Super Bash Sisters getting some more KOs on the board, uh, getting above Beefcakes in the standings. That that puts you up pretty well. Uh, Beefcakes, congratulations for getting that uh, fourth KO. Uh, that keeps yep. you from falling behind. Surely there's going to be some teams on view this week. Yeah. So, um, on to the next match. Let's do it. <clears throat> so for match five, we have Team Mystic versus Team Pine Size. Uh, Mystic is 2-2, two two, doing pretty decently, whereas Team Pine Size is currently winless at 0-4. Uh, Pine Size very much looking for their win here. Yep. Uh, but meanwhile, Mystic, you know, they're, it's not often that they're above average in the league. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the previous couple seasons, they've really struggled, so they're wanting to keep their spot. Yes. Uh, looking Let's... at the benches, we have um, Ness benched for Mystic, and we have Kirby benched for Pine Size. Uh, Ness, I believe, is... Uh, he's, at, he's their second worst, but uh, Shulk was benched last week, so fair enough. Um, yeah. And for Pine Size, Kirby is technically their third worst in terms of damage, but he has their lowest KOs, and he has struggled to stay on the stage, so... I do not that blame him. Yeah, <laughs> Kirby's having some rough moments, so... Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got uh, a new build on Pikachu. Uh, this oh. week, and we've got a new stage for Team Pine Size that we'll see in a bit. Okay, so some changes. Let's see yeah. how that pays so, off. Yeah, ready to get into it? Yep. Alright, Team Mystic versus Team Pine Size. Okay, looking to start with Zelda and Lucas. Mm -hmm. Zelda will be coming in with a strategy style Thorn and Meloetta build, and then Lucas has Equipment Style and Ender Dragon. Yeah, um, Lucas, last week, uh, normally I think Ender Dragon doesn't do that well against healers, but last mm -hmm. week he totally trashed King K. Rule. So yes. I, I could definitely see him doing the same to Zelda. Oh, a nice up smash doesn't hit with it. He needs to stay in close uh, to Zelda to get this Ender Dragon off. Uh, he's <laughs> trying for his up smash, gets one, yeah, gets her up to 45. Yep, that's some good, good damage. Gets a grab. Ooh, gets another up smash and wow. kills! Wow! What? Wow! No I mean, I know, like, it, the strategist style lowers your defense a little bit, but. And not that much, eh? Yeah, and, Z right. and Zelda's not that light either. Wow, yeah. Lucas! Well, Zelda with a 3% weak. Um, Shulk coming in with Boulder Style and Roxas. Mm -hmm. um, so on the same build as usual. Yeah, he is uh, the weakest member of. Uh, Mystic statistically, so if Lucas is gonna take a lead, this would be the time. Yeah, and God. he recovers. There was not a guarantee of that. <laughs> of course, Kazia comes in. He has to do some cleaning up here. Bidby style Sothis build. Um, yeah. it, it's all on him right now. Yeah, I mean we we know we know what Kazia can do. I I don't I don't necessarily see Lucas surviving through Kazia, but uh, I mean one Just if I'm pine, one if I'm pine size, he's done his job. Uh, two, yeah. I would very much like to see him at least get the Sothis off. Oh, that's a, an insane showing from Lucas to play. And mm -hmm. Foul Smash is getting close to that um, that yeah, full meter there. I, I don't think Lucas has actually hit with his Final Smash. Well, maybe maybe like one or two hits. But uh, I don't think he's actually hit significantly with it the entire season. He's just done 
because he's always been in the corner of the screen where it won't work. <laughs> Unless the opponent literally jumps into it. Uh, but, um, you know, he's not doing terribly against Kazuya. He's gotten 22 damage on the board. Yeah, I mean... Uh, keep, keeping keeping himself in there. Wow, that was that would have been a spike if he had hit with it fully. Yeah. So 50% now. Doing Ooh, wow. Fire. Lucas's PK Thunder is such oh a mess. And now we are going to Spear Pillar. Uh, Spear okay, Pillar yeah, is the new map for Team Pine Size. You can see that little cave underneath. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a uh, great place if you're a high percent. Hint, hint, Lucas. Uh, and you're of light character. Oh, but here comes PK oh. Starstorm. This will hit Kazuya. I don't think it will kill him. No, he directs it too far to the side. And, that was... Yeah, that, that is hard. It is hard to redirect, I think. Or, or maybe Lucas is just done with it. Maybe. Maybe both, right? Yeah, I can't remember between Ness and Lucas's which one is uh, easier to change the direction of it. In comes Dialga. So I think we're going to have a good time here. And, um... Lucas hitting Kazuya away, sends him into the cave, and now Lucas goes into the cave. Lucas will survive a lot longer in here. So if yep. there's a time to uh, deal extra damage to Kazuya, this is it. Because this and is a great place for some combos. Mm -hmm. He's going to um, get the Sosa Sato. Um, I imagine, unless he finds a KO move right now. Um, yeah, no way, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, guess let's start this off. Uh, gosh, see, see, that's what happens <laughs> yeah. when you have the when you have a cave. And you know what's this great about this so stage? Long. You know what's great about this stage? One, that doesn't kill. Uh, yep. I, I don't know if his final smash will kill. I think it might hit a slightly upwards percent uh, direction. Oh, my. oh well, it's gonna kill if you go upstairs, but don't do that. Just stay away. Stay away from him. Ooh, it hits. I think this kills. I think it hits too horizontally, but maybe he no. Ah, uh, he tried to tech, but. You know what? 190 damage, fair enough. Got the Sothis off, You'll got take two that. KOs. Yep. <laughs> take to the bank, cash it in. That was beautiful. Villager, uh, also known as Killager, we name, right? Yeah, uh, hasn't got too many uh, Killagers this this season. He's only 71 average damage and 0.5 uh, KOs a match. Mm -hmm. um, he... Coming in here with Strategy Style, Metalwetta, and Beat. Mm -hmm. um, so standard build. Nice yeah. rocket, love to see that. Yeah, uh, get, getting a bit of damage on the board on Kazuya needs to get a bit more combo uh, stuff on him. Now we are going back to Battlefield where I think Kazuya has a bit more of an advantage. Still yep. great use of that cave from Lucas. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Re really staying oh. in there against Kazuya and enabled him to get the Sothis off of him. A yep. And the final smash, with the final smash on him. He probably would have gotten the kill without the final smash otherwise. Yeah, I can definitely see it. He is known to be able to kill people at a very low percent. Yeah, and uh, Villager taking a lot of damage right now. Ooh! Nah, it doesn't Ooh. get the hard spike, uh, which would be the yeah. three turnips that would kill. Uh, but, um, you know, still get, getting some decent damage onto Kazuya. Villager, they definitely want him to do more so that they're not even in stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, get, get, a, get a couple uh, more damage in, maybe get him over 100 and kill him. Oh, oh my and Villager is over 100 right now. Uh, yeah, he's almost got his final through. smash. Yes, that is your play. That is good news. A nice rocket. Just to, to chip. Good chip. Mm -hmm. And uh, Villager. Ooh, I think oh, he dies from that. Oh. I don't know if he can make it back. Oh, just he's barely nice. with one balloon. <laughs> oh, that Chad. He's amazing. Good God. And foul smash time. Does he land it? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's... Gotta get in close to use it, and it's hard to get in close against Kazuya. Uh, is he going to... Villager? Uh, oh, oh, he misses oh. it. That sucks so much for Villager. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, he can, he can still paid. get a kill without it, but... Uh, that that is but, that is rough for uh, Pine Size. Uh, yeah, I felt at the moment, but we'll see what he can do. He's, he's keeping the damage up on Kazuya, uh, actually uh, taking the damage lead right now, oh. although Kazuya has oh. the final smash again, which will probably kill if it hits it. Uh, yeah, oh, he missed! Okay. Ducked under it. Okay. Wow. The he's villager's a got a pretty low profile. Yep. And, so ooh, misses oh, with that rocket. I, 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 yeah, I thought he was about jump. to get a really good snipe. Um, but wow, villager's below 90 damage now. Yeah. Uh, Kazuya just hasn't hit him for a while, and wow, the trade, good trade, uh, getting the yeah. kill uh, on Kazuya. Now we are stage morphing back to Spear Pillar. In comes Hero. 
uh, here we are coming in here with what do we have here. Um, the gift for style, Majora's Mask, and Azura. Ooh. Gets hit off the stage and oh. gets KO'd, but still, uh, Pintos is in the lead. Um, yeah, uh, Ice Climbers can do decent here. Yep, they have Demon Style, Golden, and Halbert, so the usual build. Mm -hmm. um, Demon Style uh, do a lot Ice of Ice Climbers, uh, second highest on uh, Pint Size. They've been really trying to help the team carry the team through these tough times. It hasn't yes. been enough, but if they perform well this week, uh, it could be. The, they just, they haven't taken uh, anything from Hero. Maybe Nana has, but uh, yeah, six percent was nothing. Right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, uh, they don't want to let Hero in the cave. Actually, Hero will survive longer if he's in that cave. They want to kill him up yeah. here, and Hero is thankfully obliging. Uh, and uh, there goes Dialga. Uh, so that his time is up there, and in comes Corin. Yep, Corin. Coming in here with Taint Style, Golden, and Mithra. Um, this is the do or die moment for Mystic. Yeah, and um, right now, uh, Corrin is still struggling to get a much damage going onto uh, Popo. Uh, she manages yep. to get a good combo onto, uh, uh, onto Nana, but right now, uh, Palkia coming in as the, as the Ice Climbers oh. are keeping some space from Corrin. And, yeah, I mean, right now they have taken uh, a bit of a damage deficit against Korn. Uh, they have such a huge stock lead that I think Pine Size uh, can still win this, even if uh, Ice Climbers aren't able to do anything to Korn. But, yeah, uh, just have to do some easy chip damage, just get, get a high, right, mm -hmm. into the 80s would be fine. Right? Yeah, get, get, get her at least above 60 uh, would be nice yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. You still have Pikachu and you still have um, all the mind back. Ooh, gets hit by a smash attack. Wow. There goes um, uh, Nana, I but Popo is still alive. Solo Popo. Uh, we'll be able to... Okay. Yeah, 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 but that, that attack doesn't work when it's just you. <laughs> oh, he tries so hard. And Fies fights so hard, but in the end, it might matter, honestly. He it has corn over uh, 60%. Yeah, uh, Peach is coming in on a new build, which potentially will do yeah. a lot more. And you're all at basically 80%, right? So this is perfectly what you want. Yeah. It would be nice if Ice Climber's Final Smash respawned Nana. I've said this before, that but I think amazing. it would be really cool because the Condor comes in from the top uh, that you can grab onto, right? Oh. I think that kills. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, no, it's got a hit. Oh. It's got a hit. It's got a hit first. Ah, uh, yeah, oh. and it kills right on the tip. Wow. How about that? And oh, huge wow. win. Yeah, huge win from Pine Size. Very dominant win. Didn't even get to see Pikachu's new build. Yeah. Um, on the correct side, this does hurt the KO count for Mystic in that that mm -hmm. tight race in two and two, went out two and three. Yeah. Um. That that is that is going to be uh, tough for them. I think there's a few other teams that had mm -hmm. uh, worse KOs there, but you know, uh, that is going to be a struggle for them. Uh, they're going to want to get some more K KOs in uh, future weeks to keep up. But, yep. um, yeah, I mean, Pine Size, I think you found it. I think Spear Pillar is the play. I mean, yeah. we saw what Lucas was doing there. He was stellar. Yep. I mean, he was stellar on Battlefield, too. But he was incredible in the cave on Spear Pillar. Mm -hmm. um, Ice Climbers were strong in that stage. Villager was strong in that stage. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can't go under it. So yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can't, you can't gimp yourself by going under the stage. Yeah. So, well, as good as Lucas, Vilja, and Ice Thomas did, we didn't get to see the new build. Mm -hmm. So it's still to be determined on if it's good or not. So yeah. maybe next week. And yeah, maybe next week, or maybe next week they bring uh, Kirby in on a similar build. Tank style. True. So this tank style, because yeah. uh, I feel like runner style has been curting Kirby a lot. It, it hurts his air mobility a lot. So maybe something like yeah. tank style would be better. <laughs> Definitely. But on to the final match of the week. Yeah. So for our final match, we have Team Excalibur versus the Athletes. Uh, Excalibur is 2-2 two and two with 18 KOs, the Athletes are 2-2 two two with 16 KOs. Uh, athletes are technically the underdogs here, uh, especially since uh, Excalibur went to the Shack. Wow. Oh. They used... what was it? They used 7 coins on turning off Dage Morph. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and what's interesting is that they've used a stage I don't think I've seen anyone use uh, before, yeah. uh, unless it was an accident. Uh, Moray Towers. I, I mean, yeah. in previous times. I know this time was on purpose, but... Um, yeah, wow. Moray Towers, a really vertical stage. A lot yeah, of thin so... platforms. I don't know how this will affect these characters, but... Yeah, maybe they're looking for a lot of spikes, so I just up the top. Kills. Yeah, I, I think off the top would work well here. Also, characters that are good at hitting through platforms. Yeah. Uh, characters Trust. with strong up airs will, will do well here. Uh, yeah. Looking at their benches, Excalibur has benched um, Dark Pit, who is their uh, third best. Yeah. And um, athletes have benched. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Wario, who is their... also their third best. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, you ready to get into it? Let's do this. Alright, Team Excalibur versus the Athletes. That's a lot of Miis. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they like their Miis over at, uh, over at the Athletes. They do. We have the Swords versus the Miis. Yeah. Uh, well, right now wins. we're getting Swords versus Swords. Oh, true. Mm-hmm. Oh, siding. Uh, oh, we're getting uh, Mithra versus me, Sword Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what are they running? For uh, Mithra, running Forgetful Style, Mill Tank, and Quick Fan. For Sword Fighter, Taint Style, and Roxas. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Oh, it's this map. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the Splatoon map. Yeah. I was like, where's this tower at? I'm like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you can see how very vertical this stage is. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's fighting. Nothing crazy. Yeah, just fighting. Uh, right now, try, trying to keep each other off stage, but they've managed to make it back to center stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, photo edge and weird interaction with the platforms there. Yeah. It's a it's a weird stage because there's like intersecting diagonal. Yeah. Uh, so thin platforms like you can run up through the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now Mithra does have the damage lead. Uh, Mithra, yeah. I believe, is the second worst character in the league right now. Oh wow! So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, Pyramitha, 32 average damage, second uh, only to Zero Samus, whereas Mi Sword Fighter uh, has been pretty solid with 113 average damage, but Pirate taken out. Uh, I managed wow. to do decent damage to Mi Sword Fighter, but still. So, Cloud coming in. Cloud's running a Bitby and Gold Mario, which we saw earlier today. Mm hmm. And me, so if I almost has a final smash up, get some damage in done, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see if he actually wants to do that, or just get knocked off the stage and die, but I wouldn't advise that. Yeah, ooh, manages to get a nice uh, stage spike onto me, Sword Fighter. Uh, mm -hmm. Takes them out, in comes Mega Man. Mega Man. Uh, used to be a very strong character. Someone has. Someone's been struggling? As he is way, currently not... the best member on the athletes. Really? Oh, I remember thinking we used Yeah, uh, 164 awesome. average damage, 1.5 KOs. Both the Wow, highest. okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Whereas uh, Cloud is uh, currently second worst on uh, Excalibur, actually. Uh, 74 oh. average damage, 1 KO. Interesting. Well, Mega Man over here on Boulder Style and Gold Mario. A lot of Gold Mario going. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong. Um, yeah, I said the tie. Yeah, I, I I mean that they, they uh, I mean could, it, it, oh, it's, it's funny it's funny how it's uh, different between the leagues because because uh, in in DBZ league like that they, mm -hmm. they ban power body and allow eternal life but here we ban Celebi yeah. and allow oh. uh, Gold Mario Gold Mario is a staple. Yep, <laughs> uh, it's it's interesting what. I guess I guess it's a right. sense of what uh, different characters, like what the AI does differently, and what yeah, like the, there's much less damage dealt in, in a uh, Smash League match, and uh, 
it's it's uh, easier to break through uh, the armor. Yes, but uh, Selby just heals immensely. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there goes um, there there goes Mega Man. Hey, man. Uh, in comes Omni Slash Version Five on me Brawler. Oh. Better read off his build quickly. Yeah, me Brawler here has Demon Style, Majora's Mask, and Halberd. Uh, uh, currently uh, lowest average on athletes. Okay. Uh, 49 see. average damage, 0.5 average KOs. Well, let's see if we can um, increase that a bit, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's not doing so hot against Cloud right he, here. He has uh, done Cloud like no him with a limited up smash, which is uh, uh, up, up special, which isn't one of his kill moves, but you know. Ooh, nice smash attack Ow. from me, bro. There we go. About time, there you go. Ike comes in with Demon Style, Halberd, and Gull again. So, very similar, similar builds between these two. Yeah, uh,. Ooh, nice counter. Uh, yeah, Me Brawler takes off the stage. Oh, but he can't take that, that one. apparently. No, wow. All right, they have Me Gunner coming in. Strategy style, roll, cast it, shine spot, and wheezing. And Excalibur with pretty much a full character in the lead. Yeah, they're loving this right now. Sitting very pretty right now. Um, mm -hmm. And honestly, I think Ike and Cloud to a lesser extent might be the character that they <coughs> picked. Ooh, and Sephiroth probably. Uh, that they picked uh, Mori Towers for because his up smash goes through a lot of platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and and, and his uh, neutral special go hits platforms below him. Uh, it, he's I guess a pretty versatile character on this stage. Definitely. Oh my God, Sephiroth's down air on this stage. It's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be just brutal. The down air. That will be fun to deal with. Yeah, but assuming we even oh. get to him, Ike taking yeah. out me, Gunner, and in comes Terry. Right. Terry, it's all up to you. Forget for style. So Dinja and Meloetta, you have to be the character to do it. Oh, yeah. This is kinda, zone even. Kind of surprised that it doesn't uh, switch to the uh, last minute thing when there's only one ca character left, but mm -hmm. go for the music. But, um, uh, regardless, so, so are Judd and Little Judd holding up uh, flags for the red team for Excalibur? I think that's how it works. Uh, Ike <laughs> yeah, has yeah. his final smash on deck. If he connects with it, this will... Oh, never mind. What? Okay. Never mind. Ah, yeah. uh, you know, there's a there's an attempt. It wasn't yeah. a great attempt, but... And I, I think Robin can take out uh, Terry here. I believe so. Yeah, Robin coming in here. I'm going to read it off. Taint style and Sothis, mm -hmm. so should be able to. Best yeah. with the Sothis. I, I, I mean, unless he just does no damage and uh, Terry uh, oh, completely oh, pulls it back. Oh, at 57, and you can see the, um, the final smash slowly getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Terry ha has his final smash uh, relatively soon. Uh, if, if he uh, has drags this fight out against uh, Robin. I could see him taking out Robin. Sephiroth is another story. Sephiroth would probably be harder. Yeah. A nice uh, smash attack from Robin. Not enough to take out Terry, but gets him up to 93 damage. Wow, this is close. Yeah, I, I mean... I split these two. But these, these two, yeah, we saw Sephiroth in that. But and yeah. this could be happening. Yeah, so this will be happening soon. Uh, yeah, ah. I mean, Terry, I mean, he has both his Final Smash coming soon, and he has his Go Meter uh, coming soon, potentially. Yeah, which could be um, a lot of damage. A I don't know how on. Terry's Final Smash interacts with the stage. Oh. Evidently, it works. Yeah, it does. I was worried it would clip inside the tower and not work, but I think, yeah, he tucks off the platform. And he's yep. survive. They're doing 50% now. Um, and Final Smash for Robin's almost here. Yeah, uh, uh, Terry has his go meter. He can uh, pretty quickly do a uh, power geezer before he heals. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, oh, that's it. And that is a kill for sure. Uh, uh, this, yeah. this stage does not have a high ceiling. Nope. <laughs> and really, we see no Sephiroth. Nice platform. And yeah, no Sephiroth. Although I think Sephiroth would have performed extremely well on that stage with how big his sword yep. is. Mm -hmm. Would have been able to cover a lot of it. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good for Excalibur, that stage. I think they might want to stick with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Pyra and Mitha somewhat struggled, mm -hmm. kind of went hand-to-hand -hand with um, Misoic Fire. And just lost that, but... Yeah, I mean, they, they dealt they dealt 100 damage to Misoic Fire. That's going to help their yeah. average. Uh, they, they are one of the weakest characters in the league right now. 
there, there's a lot that can be. Uh, I, th I think uh, Excalibur is going to be looking into adjusting their build some more. Yeah. Uh, but um, no, I think they found a stage that works for them. Definitely, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. And you know, athletes uh, don't get too disheartened, even though this is a pretty big loss, and you're not going to have many KOs for the teams you're tied with. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, me Brawler did a bit better. Yes. Uh, me Swordfighter did pretty well. Terry, Terry did pretty well. So you know, uh, that, there, there's stuff uh, going on. Yeah, some positives take away. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that is gonna be it for Super Smash Brothers League. This is a pretty, right. uh, a pretty strong week fr from these characters. Um, yeah. and that, nothing next... to too bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and next week is uh, about the halfway point through the uh, main season. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, next is going to be week 6 out of 11, so... Yeah, uh, the teams that are behind are uh, really going to have to put uh, their best foot forward. Really going to have to put uh, their team in gear to, uh, to keep from getting eliminated. Because, honestly, like there, there are still undefeated teams and there are still winless teams. But yes. as a whole, the league is still pretty close. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So very much a toss-up in mm -hmm. that like that four to like seven or eight range, right? Yeah. Um, I I think it would be pretty hard for any of the undefeated teams to get eliminated, but you know anyone in the bottom like half could be eliminated at any time, really. So yep. you got to be careful. Yeah, you just need a uh, you no know, three to four hot weeks, and you're back in it, mm -hmm. which is very doable, very doable. Yeah. But that's all for this week. Uh, bye, bye, everyone. Bye.